In the artist's quest lies a profound paradox. While they seek external truths, they ultimately uncover the depths of their own essence. Yet, even in the self-realization, a yearning persists, reminding them that the journey of discovery is perpetual and boundless. Hi everyone, and welcome back, and happy spring. I hope you all are doing well and have been staying creative. I titled this video, Dissatisfaction is a Creative State, because I want to share with you um, some of the experiences that I have been going through this past month. I think it's so interesting how we are so aligned with the seasons because now that it's spring, I feel like I'm finally springing back into action and feeling more like myself again. I feel like I was in this weird kind of deep hibernation for a while and also a bit uncomfortable and dissatisfied with some of the work that I was producing and I really wanted to touch on that topic in this video. I was feeling a bit unmotivated this past month and it took me forever to release this YouTube video because I didn't really know why I was feeling unmotivated. It was maybe a case of just artist burnout, but I really needed to understand what I wanted to say and the purpose of my next video and what it would be about. I was feeling so disconnected and unsatisfied with some of the work that I was making and I was just far too shy to share it here on YouTube. I tend to fall into this cycle a lot um, between satisfaction and dissatisfaction and constantly getting this unwavering fear that I'm falling behind or that I'm not good enough to share anything of value. But gradually I did see this fear as a hindrance to my growth and those feelings I knew were temporary and I slowly began to understand that those feelings of dissatisfaction is not a destructive state but rather a creative one. As I reflected on the gaps in my painting skills and my business management, I realized that I had been using them as excuses for the way that things were. However, just a small shift in my mindset prompted me to question how I could approach things a little differently. I began to consider how I could allocate my time more effectively, prioritize my goals, and break free from unproductive habits. Like, I really wanted to practice what I preach here on YouTube. I recognize that by reframing my perspective, I saw that these changes were not only achievable, but essential for my growth. Ultimately, it's up to us to use dissatisfaction destructively or constructively. I am extremely sensitive to my environment as well, and I felt like maybe I was feeling that sense of uncomfortability because I wasn't getting out of my studio enough. So I decided to go to this wonderful park and um, I asked one of my dear friends to come with me so I can paint him and just get outside, get some fresh air, go for a hike and we found this really beautiful spot to do some painting. I also rarely ever get someone to pose for me and um, it was really nice to not paint for my phone or my computer or my laptop, but to actually paint from life. I felt like it was so much more authentic and just more real that I got to practice observing and really put some of my skills to the test because yeah, it was quite humbling. <laughs> I was really nervous to start this painting and I was like, oh, I was so overwhelmed by all the colors and the shadows and it was just a huge step outside of my comfort zone. Also, when it was windy and it got a little cold and I was just like, I, I need to just relax and not think that I have to put a frame on this and just have a good time. <laughs> it's so easy to put all that pressure on yourself and it's just ridiculous. 
This painting took around 45 minutes to complete. Um, I didn't want him to sit in that position for too long. I just knew it was uncomfortable. He was sitting against a tree and I could imagine that the bark might not have been the most comfortable support for his back. Plus, I had to work very quickly since all the shadows were constantly shifting and the changing sunlight was moving and the wind was causing all the trees to sway and altering all the shadows on his face. Your girl was stressed, <laughs> but despite these conditions, I still thoroughly enjoyed the process and I would have liked to have continued a bit longer, but it was starting to get late, it was getting a little cold and yeah, we had to leave. <laughs> I haven't painted from life in a very long time, so it was very refreshing just to do something different and switch up my routine, get outside, and yeah, I put so much fear and stress around it. It was so easy and fun when I actually just did it. As humans, we frequently find ourselves ensnared in this pursuit of a lot of elusive ideas. We're often convinced that attaining a particular goal will bring fulfillment and resolve all of our concerns. However, the truth is that external achievements often prove to be super fleeting and hollow. Instead, I believe true satisfaction lies within and it stems from our internal state rather than all of these external validations. By recognizing this truth, it will allow us to break free from the shackles of societal expectations and this pursuit of perfection that social media often promotes. I find that genuine satisfaction emerges when I embrace who I just, who I really am and when I am nurturing to that inner voice that I have. And truly, it's about tuning into those inner desires and those passions and those values and not conforming to any arbitrary standard set by society. Back in my studio, I decided to tackle on another portrait. Lately, my sole focus has been on practicing and repeating portraits just over and over again until I feel truly satisfied or at least more comfortable with painting them, even if the results aren't perfect. I've been discarding many paintings because I'm not entirely satisfied and it's crucial for me to have that courage to start over even if the initial attempt does seem to look okay. My focus is that I want my journey to be one of continuous growth without becoming overly attached to any specific painting because sometimes a good outcome is purely by chance but what I truly desire is intentionality in every stroke and knowing exactly what I'm doing. So as a reminder, next time that you're grappling with feelings of dissatisfaction, remember that you're not alone and it's a sentiment pondered not only by you or by me, but it's been by ancient philosophers throughout history. As I always stress, embrace the journey and the process, but above all, appreciate the beauty of being a creative individual. Cherish each moment of creation and understand that growth often comes through challenges and imperfections. So until next time, stay creative, stay inspired, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!